My name is Greg Wilkinson. Marcus Henry Solvis Moran. My name is Peyton Evers. Drew Patrick Pritchard. Oberst. My last name is Oberst. Morgan Oberst mm -hmm. is my full name. Uh, my full name is uh, Caleb Christian Colwell. My full name is Sarah Nicole Sychik. Well, if I were to say how familiar I am with U.S. history, I'd say that I'm very familiar with U.S. history. Uh, I'm pretty familiar with U.S. history, actually. I, uh, I'm in U.S. history. I wouldn't say I'm that familiar with it, although I do have a history of studying history. So. Oh, U.S. history. Um, I took that junior year. I took U.S. history junior year, so I'm pretty familiar with it. Absolutely nothing at all. I generally understand a few things. I'm pretty familiar with history. Um, I actually really enjoy U.S. history. That was a really fun year for me. My favorite uh, time era in history would probably be the 90s. Probably between the 60s and the 70s. Uh, we're in the 20s right now in class. We're studying that and I'm kind of amused by it because it's about a bunch of idiots who thought that they were, you know, unstoppable and all the money they spent on their leisure activities and then it's all going to go downhill eventually. Well, one era in time in the past that I'm rather fond of is um, from the turn of the century, late 19th, early 20th century, right before World War One. Probably the the 40s or the 60s. I'd have to say my favorite era is probably around the late 1800s, early 1900s. Just because you know, back then everybody had mustaches and most of them were handlebars. It's just, I've always aspired to be like one of those. I, I like the, 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 the parties back in the 40s because uh, it was, that was back when alcohol was legal again so no one was like trying to hide anything and it was just nice and dignified and everything was enjoyable. And the 60s, I like the 60s for um, all of the different like revolutions and things and it, it, um, all of the people and all the ideas they had at the time. <laughs> My favorite era in the past would have to be the 60s. I'd have to say the 60s maybe because that was when like everything was kind of happening. Like there, everything was evolving like there's new technology and everything seemed pretty like easy then. I probably wouldn't fit in very well. Um, just because they were super sexist and racist. And I'm not super into that the whole thing, so I... Mm. And how would I fit in? Probably, probably pretty well. My personality, I feel, suits, suits, suits well for that type of time. Yeah, no, I, I would say my mustache is definitely uh, capable of, of having me, or helping me fit in, in that era. Um, although it does need significant improvement to catch up with the big boys, uh, so, one day. I imagine I would be more of a commoner, since that was just the general class of people in America at that time. Very few people actually made it to be wealthy capitalists or into the went into the political sphere or got doctorates. I think I would fit in really well because I adapt really well in a lot of different um, environments and if I'm in an environment that I enjoy to be in I'm gonna adapt especially well and so yeah. The music, oh, all oh, the music's the best. I just I just really like the whole the whole outlook everyone had. It's like things can only get better from here. Kind of, kind of thing.